Hi there Ford owners. Today in your 2021 Ford F450 Super Duty, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install Reese's OEM Puck System Gooseneck and Safety Chain Anchor Kit. And this is what our kit looks like when it's installed. You'll receive a 1, 2, and 5 16 ball for attaching your gooseneck trailer that's rated for 30,000 pounds. You'll also receive two safety chain anchor attachments and all these components are designed to drop right into the OEM prep package for your gooseneck and fifth wheel. Drop right into the underbed system there and it's a quick and easy kit to get you up and going. This isn't the fanciest of all the kits, but it does do its job. It is pretty easy to use. You can see it moves and inserts pretty easily. Just pull up on the mechanism there. So it is pretty fast to use. It has a chrome finish on it to help protect against corrosion. Uh, the center tab here is made of a composite. It feels like a pretty durable composite, but I would have liked to have seen it be all metal. For our tie-down attachments, they have a nice shape to them with a pretty large opening that should accommodate most safety chains. I'm not a big fan though of how the mechanism locks in. It really kind of depends on your safety chain being there to help lock these in because the small tabs that just rest in place here that lift up and down is all that locks it in there. And without that thing dropped down there, the thing could essentially twist and it could come out of there. And we can just give you like a simulation here. We're just moving this back and forth. We're not touching that mechanism at all. And it, it does kind of get a little loose in there. It's unlikely that it's gonna come out on you. And again, if you've got a safety chain on there, you've got like this, no way it can come out of there now because the mechanism can't lift up because it hits on the chain that's inside of there. But I don't really care, care much for the way it's held in there. I would recommend either Kurtz or B&W's kits over Reese's, but if you're looking for a economical solution and something that kind of matches your truck, if you like the chrome and black finish, this could be an okay option. We've got Kurtz over here with us. This one is a, to me, it's a nice little upgrade over Reese's. b and is my personal favorite, but we can see here that the Kurt one, we've got an all metal latch here at the top. It's a similar function as the other one, but I like that that's all metal there. And while the anchors here on the Kurt kit do take longer to install than the Reese's here, because these are really quick and easy to put them in, I trust the reliability of the Kurt's much better. They've got multiple pins that lock it in. It really is, feels nice and solid and there's no way it's coming out of there once it's in place. The Kurt's also gonna come with a nice hard plastic carrying case. Well, Reese's comes with a storage bag and it's not too big of a deal. This is actually a little bit smaller. So if you have issues with space in your truck and you really don't have a place to store these, you don't want a big old kit like this underneath your seat. Maybe this is a more attractive option due to space. But the kit here does give everything a nice location for it to go. It can help prevent rattles when you're driving down the road if you keep them in your cab. If everything's in the bag here, you could get some noise and rattles with it. But again, it is a smaller solution, so it won't take up as much room. So when we take all of our components out of here, when we're done towing, we'll put those in that storage bag. Reese does also provide a cover for your gooseneck ball hole there. You could put your factory prep package cover back on, but this one's a nicer look. The rubber feels better than the plastic cap that Ford gives you. And you can display the Reese logo showing off your components you're using on your truck. We'll begin our installation here at the back of our truck by removing the covers for our OEM prep package here. The one in the center is for our gooseneck ball. I like to use a flat bladed screwdriver just to help me pop the caps up. Once you get them up, you can then grab them with your hands, but they can be pretty stiff on there and difficult to remove. The two here on the sides are for our safety chain loop attachments. So here we have our ball, we're gonna drop it in. We've got the center here is dropped down, so you can see the balls are out. That's the locked in position, so you can see here it doesn't drop down in there. If we take the center piece though and we lift it up and twist it, 90 degrees. The balls now drop inside and our ball drops down in there. On your Ford, you do have uh, aesthetic rings that are on here. You can either take those off or leave them on, throw them in your truck. It doesn't really matter with those. 
We'll give that a twist until it drops back down into place and now it's locked in there. With this ball it can rotate inside the assembly which is kind of nice because normally you lubricate your ball up here to help prevent wear from the pivoting of your trailer but this has another pivot point in there that that way it helps distribute it to multiple points to mitigate some of that wear. Our safety chain anchors will attach to the pucks located on each side here. In most cases you are going to have to remove the ring. I found just regardless of what brand it is they all seem to not drop down far enough when the aesthetic ring is in place. We're going to go ahead and try just to see and yeah it won't turn. It holds it up just high enough to where it's not going to work with that on so you will have to take that off. I am lifting up on the center section here. You don't need to lift it up when just dropping it down in there but in order to twist to turn it to lock into place you are going to have to hold it up just a little bit. You can sometimes get lucky and drop it in there and just twist and it'll go but sometimes it does get hung up. It just kind of just depends on when you drop it in there because you can see I can drop it, twist, it kind of missed it there. But once that falls down in there, that is the locked in position. It can't come up. See there? Now there's nothing else that secures it except for this piece that drops down in here and you might be thinking, well hey that doesn't seem that secure. I mean, look at all that movement it's got there. Is that really going to be there for me when I need it? And it doesn't seem like this is doing a whole lot, but once you've got your safety chains attached on here, your chain, the thickness of the chain actually prevents the mechanism here from rising up, allowing it to come out of there. So your safety chain actually is the lock for these. We'll go ahead and insert the other side in the same way. And at this point, we're ready to hook up our gooseneck trailer and hit the road. And that completes our installation of Reese's OEM puck system gooseneck and safety chain anchor kit on our 2021 Ford F450 Super Duty.